Hello my most amazing artists. Today we're going to be drawing Pete the Cat. So to get started, you're going to be using a new art material and that is this ink marker. An ink marker is like a giant Sharpie except this bottle has enough ink in it to fill hundreds of Sharpies or a hundred Sharpies in there. But we're gonna start out with pencil on a big piece of paper by writing your name and your class code as always. If you were to use the ink to write your name and then flip over your paper as we always do, it would get all over your table. So make sure that you write your name in pencil. After I write my name in pencil and flip over my paper, I'm gonna show you how to use this ink bottle. All you do is twist the cap left to open it. When you're twisting to close, you go to the right. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy is my motto. Keep the cap somewhere that you're not gonna lose it so the ink bottle doesn't dry out or spill when you're not using it. Now watch what happens when I use my ink bottle. All I have to do is tip it over, hold it up, and just make a mark. Now I don't have to press down or squeeze. In fact, it's super important that I don't. Look what happens if I do press down really hard with all of my might. Look what happens when I pick up the paper, boys and girls. It will start to drip or even go through the paper. If it goes through the paper, it's gonna get all over your desk, it's gonna get all over your clothes, and it might even drip on the floor. And ink does not wash out, ink is permanent. So you wanna make sure when you're using this ink marker not to squeeze the bottle. Look what happens when I squeeze the bottle. Boys and girls, I'm showing you this on screen right now because I don't wanna see anybody squeezing or pushing their bottles down like I just did. Look at what a big mess that leaves. And not only that, but it leaves a mess on my artwork, which is what is the most important thing today, that we are making amazing artwork. So I'm gonna close my bottle and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my big mess to clean up my big mess of what I shouldn't have done in the first place, and you shouldn't do today either, is, oh, what, what's Miss Q drawing? Oh, it's a Pete the Cat. Oh, this Pete the Cat is sad. Sad Pete because he does not want to see you squeezing the bottle. Pete does not want to see you squeeze or push that bottle down today. Do you squeeze your markers, boys and girls? Then don't squeeze this one. It works just fine without pushing or squeezing. Now in your bin today, you'll have art wipes to clean up any messes that you do have on your fingers or on your tables. But it does make a bigger mess when you add water to ink. So if you get any ink on your table, just let Miss Q know and she'll help you clean it up. It is very messy, so those markers will be there and your wipes will be there as well, just in case. Now let's actually get started. First thing I always do is write my name and my class code in pencil. Then I flip my paper over. When you're ready to do that, you can get your ink marker ready and twist open the cap, but don't start until I play the video and do the first step. All right, boys and girls, right now you just saw me doing something called ghost drawing. That's when I draw with my finger without actually using my ink marker where my line's going to go. It's always a good idea to do this ghost drawing just so you know where you're gonna put that line since we can't erase and you only get one piece of paper. Go ahead and make two vertical lines one on one side of your paper and one on the other. It's also really important that you're holding your paper horizontally. If you're holding it the tall way up and down, this will not work. Now you see me drawing with my finger to draw the chin of Pete the Cat. It's kind of like a big letter V that connects each of those lines I just made. It's okay if yours is more of an arch and curvy than mine. Go ahead and make your lines connect at the bottom. Now I'm getting ready to make a diagonal line from the top line. That's going to make Pete the Cat's ears. I make two diagonal lines going towards the middle, but I stop right there because the next thing I'm going to do is connect his head. Now 
Now I'm going to make a rainbow, an arch, that connects the two ears. Go ahead and make an arch that connects your two ears together at the top. Now I'm ready to make Pete's nose. I'm going to draw a letter V near the bottom of my head to make the shape of the nose. Now it's near the bottom of his face. Then I go ahead and draw a horizontal line on top of my V to make it an upside down triangle. That will be Pete's nose. Now I'm going to make four dots. The first two dots I'm going to make are right above the nose, really close together. These are not for his eyes, but they're going to be guides to make his eyes. So after I make those two dots, you'll see that I make two other dots that are on the same line, but closer to the edge of his head. So that's a little bit farther away. I make four dots in a line, but I'm really spreading them out. You'll see why in a second. Now I'm going to use rainbow lines or arches to connect those dots. I start at the middle and I go up and over all the way to my other dot. Now I'm gonna go on the other side of my head and I'm going to go up and over connecting my rainbow lines to make another arch or rainbow. Those are going to be the start of Pete's big eyes. Go ahead and do that now. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. So this is more like a letter U. My arch or my rainbow is flipped over to connect the eyes the other way. Now Pete has really big eyes, but he needs the center of his eyes. The center of Pete's eyes is going to be the shape of a letter U. I'm gonna do that in both eyes. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm going to make another letter U underneath to make that white part of his eye a little bit smaller. That way he's got really big eyes just like cats have and especially Pete. So I go back but not too much and not squeezing my bottle or that ink will go right through my paper. All right, now I'm ready to make Pete's body. To make Pete's body, I make two lines coming from his head, kind of around his chin. I'm gonna make one curvy line on the left and another curvy line on the right, because whatever I do to the left, I do to the right, because that is called symmetry. Pete the cat is symmetrical, meaning he's the same on both sides. If he has whiskers on one side, one, two, three, four, coming from his cheek, well, he's symmetrical, so he's gonna have four coming from the other side. Let's go with one, two, three, four. Wow, Pete the cat is done. He's got his nose, eyes, whiskers, ears, and body. All right, I think I am ready to let it dry. All right, artists, I hope you had fun making your Pete the cat.